Hello, today we're going to be talking about spelling of two syllable progressive verbs. That means when the verb is progressive, I add ing. Um, with spelling, do I need to add an extra letter or not? Let me explain. It goes that back to this idea of consonant, vowel, consonant. We've seen this in short verbs that have three letters. So, real quick, a consonant, a vowel, then a consonant. First of all, a vowel is the letters A, E, I, O, or U, and then consonants, all the other letters, B, C, D, F, G, H, J, and so on. So, if I have the verb run, it has consonant, vowel, consonant. When I add ing, I'm going to double the n, the last letter. So it's running. Same thing with put. P-U-T, consonant, vowel, consonant. Whenever I add ing, I double the last letter. P-U-T-T-I-N-G, putting. With when, consonant, vowel, consonant. And then, when I add ing, we're going to double the n, two n's when we add the ing. Now with this consonant vowel consonant rule, it's not just for verbs that have three letters. For example, look at the verb stop. Stop has four letters, but the last three letters, t-o-p, follow the pattern consonant vowel consonant. So in that situation, we're going to double the last letter and make it stopping with double P. Date, wait a minute, this is different. Date has vowel, consonant, then vowel. For that verb, because it doesn't follow the pattern, we will not double the last letter. So it's dating with just one T. And then plan has L-A-N, consonant, vowel, consonant. So yes, with plan, we will double the last letter. So planning. So this gets a little bit messier when I'm talking about verbs that have two syllables. So a verb that has two syllables means that we can break it with the pronunciation into two parts. Let's first look at this verb, begin. Begin has two syllables, begin. Okay, so, but we can see clearly it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant. So you can notice I have the double N when I add ing, beginning. Oh, now I have the same thing, two syllables for listen. Listen. Two syllables. But then I have T-E-N, consonant, vowel, consonant. But I do not double that last letter. It seems like listen follows the rule, consonant, vowel, consonant. Why don't I double that last letter? This is where it gets a little bit messy. It has to do with the pronunciation. And it has to do with the syllable stress. So a two-syllable verb has one stressed syllable and one unstressed syllable. So a stressed syllable, that just means that that syllable, we say it louder, we, we say it louder, we say it longer, and we say it <clears throat> than the other syllable, okay? So stress syllables, louder, longer, and higher. Unstressed syllables would be the syllables that would do the opposite. They're quieter, they're shorter, and they're lower. Um, another thing about unstressed syllables is we often change 
the vowel sound. A lot of times the vowel sound we change to a uh or i. Um, if we think of those two vowel sounds, especially a, uh, those are the easiest vowels to, to make. To make the a uh sound, you just completely relax and say, uh. So, if an unstressed syllable, it's the less important syllable. So, in a less important syllable, we can use the laziest vowel sound in the world, which is uh. Let's see how it works. First, let's look at this word and try and figure out which syllable is stressed. If I want to know which syllable is stressed or is bigger, a good way is to try it both ways. For example, I could try here, begin, and in that unstressed syllable, remember I'm, I might even change B to B. And then here, with the second syllable, I'm going to say that one louder, longer, and higher, so begin. Let's try it the other way. And we'll say begin. I'll change the second syllable, the vowel, the I, to uh. Begin or begin. Which one sounds better? Begin. Begin. I think this one sounds better. So this is the stress pattern. It is da, da. Okay. So, and this also shows these are the two possible patterns for two syllable verbs. It's either da, da or da, da. So once again, this is the stress pattern for begin. The second syllable is stressed. And when the second syllable is stressed, what we're saying is this second syllable is the more important syllable. When the second syllable is stressed, that is when we will follow that consonant vowel consonant rule and double the last letter. So beginning has two ends because the, it's a two syllable verb and the second syllable is stressed. Let's try listen. Which one sounds better? Listen or listen. 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 I like this one. So for listen, the stress is on the first syllable. Da da. Listen. Once again, the stress is on the first syllable for listen. And when the stress is on the first syllable, we're saying this first syllable, that's the one that's the most important. So when the stress is on the first syllable, we do not double the last letter, even when the word ends with consonant, vowel, consonant, we still will not double the last letter when we add ing. OK. Now I want you to try some on your own. Try to figure out these verbs here. Do they need, do we need to double the last letter when we add ing? How do you do that? What you do is you look at the verb, you try it with the stress on the first syllable, then you try it with the stress on the second syllable. And when I say try it, I mean you have to actually say it. To, to decide which one sounds better. You can't really do this one in your head. You have to really say it to make it work. Okay? So now, I would encourage you to pause the movie and try each of these verbs with the stress on the first syllable, stress on the second syllable, and decide which one sounds better. Okay, first let's talk about control. Now, 
if I stress the second syllable, it, it'll be control. If I stress the, uh, that was the first syllable stress, control. If I stress the second syllable, control. Control, control. Which one sounds better? I think it sounds best as control. So the stress on the second syllable. Which means, because the stress is on the second syllable, if I add ing, I'm going to double the L. The next verb, cancel. 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 Hmm. Cancel. Cancel. I like this one. Cancel is the stress is on the first syllable. So because the stress is on the first syllable, we only have one L for this sentence. Cancel. Canceling. Let's try another one. Offer. So what sounds better? Offer. Affer. I like the first one. Offer. So when we add the ing, because the stress is on the first syllable, we do not double the r at the end. Next one. Prefer or prefer. Prefer, prefer. I like prefer. Stress on the second syllable. Now, what does that mean? It ends in constant, vowel, constant. Stress is on the second syllable, so we will double the last letter. Preferring. Happen. Happen. Which one sounds better? Happen. Happen. This one, the stress is on the first syllable. Happen. So we will not double that last letter when we add ing. Answer. And sir, once again, we have the stress on the first syllable. Answer. So for this verb, we will not double the last letter. So once again, we're talking about verbs that have two syllables and they end with consonant, vowel, consonant. With those verbs, if the stress is on the first syllable, da, da, the first syllable is stronger, then we're not going to double the last letter. However, if the stress is on the second syllable, da, da, then, if it ends in consonant, vowel, consonant, we will double the last consonant before we add ing. I hope that helps with a tricky spelling issue with English. Thank you.